music you've seen, Slender Man the movie, this place would remind you of it. We are about to embark on the highest rafted waterfall in the world. If you missed last episode, we took our van on the Inter Islander Ferry, taking us on a three and a half hour journey through the Cook Strait from the South Island to the North Island. Here we conquered a multi day hike in just eight hours, freedom camped in Wellington City, and visited some really cool formations at a wild beach called the Three Sisters and Elephant Rock. From here, we drove another 230 kilometers to our second to last destination of this entire trip, Rotorua. After spending the night in yet another freedom camping spot, we make a quick morning coffee. Well, let's be honest, Ludwig makes the morning coffee. We stare out at the view and then get on the road to the beautiful Redwoods Forest. Welcome to Redwoods Forest, one of Rotorua's greatest treasures in a place you seriously have to visit. Spanning over 5,600 hectares, you'll find towering California coast redwoods as well as mountain bike and walking tracks. There are a ton of tracks to choose from depending on your fitness level and time frame. However, the most popular is definitely the treetop walk that takes you over suspension bridges and through the majestic redwood trees. We recently did a similar walk in Vancouver, so we opted for a regular walk through the forest leading us up to a viewing point of the city. If you've seen Slender Man the movie, this place would remind you of it. <coughs> The van life adventures continue. We're here on the side of the road in Rotorua. We've found our little dump station. We're emptying our grey water, emptying our toilet, and also filling up our fresh water. So, Campermate is not only good for finding campsites and stuff like that, it's also good for finding dump stations. I'm gonna get my grey water out, pop this mattress up, nice and handy. Put this little hitch. Small hoses for drinking water, big hoses for wastewater. Big hose goes in the big plug. The other end goes in the hole, open the valve, and out comes water. Fresh water hose goes on this connection. The other end just goes in this guy. Click. We pop over on the other side. Have a look here. When water comes out, fresh water tank. Full. We're full, we're full! So, when you've used up all the water, and you fill it up again, you start the pump, and it makes a sound, nothing comes out. That means you've got to unscrew this little guy. And voila, we have water. This happens because you use up all the water in the tank, and then you lose pressure. Water works again. I'm emptying the toilet now. Open this hatch, twist this guy out, open. Open what way open? Is it clockwise or clockwise? And we just empty this down here. No smell, no yucky. Put this little lid back on, twist it, and back goes the seat. Toilet, good to go. After working up a massive appetite at the dump station, we head to the bustling hub of each street in the center of Rotorua. This place boasts dozens of cool restaurants and bars and is definitely the place to come if you're looking for a nice date night. the one that 
that booked this, wasn't I? Yes. And I'm the one who's really scared of heights. Oh well, no going back now. After squeezing into a very snug wetsuit, we ventured out onto the bus with our guides. To our surprise, it seemed we were on a VIP rafting trip. It turns out we were the only participants in this time slot which felt extra special. Our guide Nate sends our raft into the Kaituna River, closely followed by ourselves. We learn a little bit about each other and he gives us the lowdown on what exactly is about to happen. But before we head off, he tells us to quickly turn around and look at the kayaker sliding in. This guy's job is to kayak alongside us the entire journey as an extra safety precaution and to show off his snazzy moves. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the Kaituna River. My name's Nate, I'll be your guide today. Pretty much all your feet, one foot goes forward, one foot goes back, okay? Your hands, thumb underneath here, rest your hand on top, stand coming down here. Then if I say four paddle, you reach forward, the paddle, the water, four paddle. Four paddle. And stop, yeah. Let's grab it coming up, we're gonna try and paddle all the way through it. Just yeah. watch your head on the tree. So what's going to happen, we're going to paddle towards it, okay? Yeah. I'll show how get down, we get down inside the raft and we cruise on over. And we oh, yeah. Yeah, paddles on the outside, and then the handle on the ground, okay? okay. Handle on the ground, handle on the outside. Got first out first, waterfall, okay? We've got two in a row, can we handle that? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ah. You good? Uh, bring yeah. our paddles up, touch them together. And make some noise! Woo! Woo! And so get down, get down! Nate then pulls us into a little rest stop and warns us this is our last chance to escape before we take on the 7 metre waterfall. As tempting as that was, I definitely wasn't going to be the scaredy cat, but we were surprised to hear that around 5 people per year actually hop out at this point. He says these are generally people who have already been pressured into it with friends or family and who were already freaked out to begin with. Here they have the option to jump out of the raft, walk up the track and meet everybody at the other side. Now, uh, before we go over the waterfall, would you like to hear a story of the area? Yeah. Yeah. Do we know the name of the river? No. 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 Kai Tuna. Kai Tuna is the Maldi word. Kai is food and tuna is... The fish. The fish, yeah. <laughs> what was the fish we were talking about earlier, though? The shark. No, before the that eel? one. An eel, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and Maldi, tuna is eel, okay? okay. So, when the first Maldives came to the area. Nate then continues to tell us the story of the river. Immersed in Māori history, the Kaituna River was traditionally a bountiful eeling and white baiting river for the Māori people. Tutia Falls, the giant 7 metre drop we're about to throw ourselves down, is named after Chief Tutia, who was buried there. The falls also housed caves in which Māori women and children would hide during times of conflict. Now before we go over Tutia's resting place, we're going to say a cut of kit. Uh, this is a Māori blessing. We'll give it our best try, okay? Yeah. And just say it nice and loud. Pretty much what we're going to be saying is thanks for looking out this area, allowing us to raft over the waterfall and maybe we'll take passage. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Eteranga te ra tute. Eteranga te tute. E noho ana mātou. E noho ana mātou. Ki ara tahi. Ki ara tahi. E te mātou waka. E te mātou waka. Ki e te paiai. Ki e te paiai. E nui nā mihi. E nui nā mihi. Mō te pai. Mō te pai. O te te aki. O te te aki. E te ne awa. E te ne awa. Whaka hera hera. Whaka hera hera. Nice. Now you have a choice. Two paddles towards it and then get down 
Oh, it gets down and I'll take you over. Two paddles. Paddle? Paddle. <laughs> oh, okay. Two. Oh, Perfect. Cool. So remember to hold on tight. If yep. the rail flips, hold on to it. Yep. When the rail starts to slide down, there's a big compartment full of air. Yep. Pull yourself up, have a breath, relax, and then make your way to the outside. Okay. Cool. If you let go, it might feel crazy. Tuck into the ball. Think of your happy place and your life trigger will bring you to the surface. Okay. Cool. Any questions? Nah, I think you're no. good there. Right. Bring our power drop touches together and make some noise. Woo! Uh, for battle, get down, get down. <laughs> Suddenly, the boys started to act very suspicious. They shuffled to the back together and started whispering to one another. I could tell they were getting up to some mischief. They told me to sit right up the front on the edge and they would do the paddling. Have you fallen? You're having fun. Just finished our whitewater rafting. It was superb. That was real fun. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. And of course, we're finishing off our excursions with a coffee stop at Orakai Araki, Oriki Falls Cafe Ludwig. I see that in the distance. Every time. What would you call this place? Okay. Okiri Cafe, Okiri Store Cafe. I'll confirm with you at the front when I can see the name of it, but this place is probably one of the coolest cafes we've seen on this entire trip. They have amazing vegan vegetarian food. Everything looks delicious. Muffins, scones, they've got pies. It looks so good. After filling our tummies, we jump back in the car and make our way to our very last stop on our trip around New Zealand. A little hint, we may be staying somewhere extra unique tonight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you'd never miss a video, especially our next one because it's going to be a very, very fun stay. Thanks so much for watching, give us a thumbs up and do check us out on Instagram. We'll see you over there, bye!